we do the intro? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. <laughs> Puma is very tired this morning, so he's just up looking for some snuggles. Although as soon as I give him attention, then he grabs a toy because he wants to play. So I'm just about to take a sip of my coffee. I always get so nervous though, sipping the first sip of coffee from any container that has a lid, like even when I go to Starbucks and stuff, I'm always just really paranoid that it's gonna to be too hot. Oh, it's hot, but it's like, it's like, it's okay. It's good hot, it's good hot. <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while, you'll already know that I'm actually off work at the moment. I'm in between my last job and my new job. So I actually had five weeks off in total, but I've got two weeks left now. So this week and next week, and then I start the new job. Uh, so it's gonna be quite a chilled week, although I am trying to get some bits and bobs done. Like I've been trying to clear out my flat for so long. <laughs> It's slow progress. It just takes ages. I'm really trying to declutter everything, but I just don't understand how I've accumulated so much stuff. I'm such a hoarder. Um, so yeah, that's taken along and I'm also seeing my friends Hannah and Natasha later this week. But yeah, I don't really have any major plans other than that. I'm also still working through this back pain that I've been having. Oh, that's like a whole saga in itself. So hard to describe. Um, but having back pain constantly is such, like it's brought me down so much because it it's all day, every day I can feel this pain. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes, you know, I can barely feel it, but it's just always there at some level. Uh, and I started taking naproxen, which is, quite a heavy duty like anti-inflammatory and that helps but then also upsets my stomach <laughs> so even though I'm taking it like as you're supposed to with food and stuff and then yeah it's just this cycle so I can't really go to the gym which is something that's been bringing me a lot of I guess positive feelings you know because like I've been feeling good going to the gym and stuff really enjoying it it's a nice outlet my physio is saying that it's just going to take time I've been trying other things like Epsom salt baths and you know having heat pads and things like that and they do help like all the different things help it's just exhausting it's exhausting when you have a pain that just doesn't go away I will keep you guys updated on how things are going I've got physio once a week I'm taking the tablets I'm doing the stretches, etc. I really wanted to use these five weeks to really just kick start a good solid routine at the gym and eating a bit better than I have been. You know, I've talked quite a lot on this channel about wanting to get healthier and lose weight and I have done a bit, but to be honest, not as much as I would like to. So I just thought I would use these weeks to really kick start that off. And obviously that just hasn't happened because the pain has restricted my exercise, but then also feeling low has meant that I haven't made the best choices with food either. I really, really struggle with the emotional connection that I have with food. If I don't feel good, I don't eat good. That's just how it is. So that's something else I need to work on. In other news, it's coming to that time, guys, where you need to start thinking about your advent calendars. <laughs> I know it's August and already I'm talking about autumn because I just want autumn to be here now. So I'm already tracking the pumpkin spice latte updates. I'm already doing some shopping online for autumn stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's about the time that, you know, I'm embracing autumn, but that also means it's time to look ahead to Christmas, right? Mainly for the advent calendars because guys, the good advent calendars sell out so a lot of the big names have already announced what their advent calendars look like so i've been looking at space nk fornham and mason their beauty one i was looking at the liberty one i can't remember if they've announced their products or not i'll leave some links down below if i can find links because it's not a lot of it isn't on the official websites it'll be uh on articles and stuff that people have written but they've disclosed like all the products that are in the advent calendar so that kind of helps you decide the one thing that i really enjoyed the space nk advent calendar last year i thought that was really good the product group that was in that was really good i really liked a lot of the products but this year the advent calendar just doesn't look great i know that's silly to say like if the, the product selection is really good but 
the advent calendar looks a bit naff. Like it kind of looks like it was wrapped up in cheap wrapping paper, which is a shame because it's an expensive advent calendar. Whereas when I look at the Fornum and Mason advent calendars, they're always so beautiful and the Liberty one as well. So I just need to have a proper look through the products and stuff and see which one I want to get. I think I will treat myself to one of one I restrict myself to one of the luxury advent calendars and then I might get one that's on the sort of cheaper side as well. Last year I got the Rituals one and that was really nice. But let me know if anyone out there is as crazy as me and is already looking at advent calendars. And I'd also like to know if you are looking at them, what you're thinking of buying this year. Anyway, I've just blabbed on for ages. So I will crack on with my day. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy or just give it a thumbs up now, do you know? like. I'm sure it's gonna be great, right? <laughs> I think I'm in a funny mood, guys. I'm gonna finish my coffee and uh, I'll chat to you guys in a bit. It's Wednesday, it's just after lunchtime and I've just made myself a cup of coffee. I'm actually trying out a new milk. So this is my usual milk. It's the Prova Mill Rice Coconut and this is the one that they use in Pret. I have a different one this week because Ocado didn't have that one in stock. So I'm trying the Oatly Barista edition. Now, Coconut milk, like I say, is the one that I normally go with, but I do find that normal coconut milk can be a little bit too much, like the coconut flavor can be overpowering. I don't find that with the rice coconut. So anyway, all of that to say that I just made myself a cup of coffee, but I noticed that this frothed up loads and so much so that it actually overflowed in the glass. <laughs> I had to wipe the glass up. I have noticed there's quite a difference in terms of the amount of froth you'll get across the different milks, like from cow's milk to the coconut milk to this one. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. Oat milk is not normally my favorite, although I do get it from Starbucks sometimes because I find the ordinary coconut milk can sometimes be a bit overpowering. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Now I did put a little bit of vanilla syrup in just cause I was a bit worried that I'd find the oat taste quite strong, but it's not, do you know what it was, right? The first time that I ever had oat milk in a coffee was actually a Starbucks one. And it was when they had that breakfast cereal drink out. So they used oat milk obviously in that drink, but they also, I think had a flavor in that made it taste like cereal milk. So it tasted to me like cereal milk after you have Cheerios. And I hate cereal milk. <laughs> like I'm the kind of person that actively avoids having cereal milk. I'll only put a tiny bit of milk on my cereal and then I'll eat my cereal really quick while it's still crispy so that I don't have soggy cereal or cereal milk. So <laughs> I think that was a bad idea for my first try of oat milk. And it's kind of put me off ever since, but that one's really nice. So I'm quite happy with that. So I have arrived at King's Cross. I'm meeting Natasha and Hannah here. I actually haven't been to this area in so long and this Drake and Morgan I used to go to with my old work crowd. So I'm kind of excited to go back. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep cutting an eye out because I think Natasha is almost here as well. And I'll um, probably get a little bit of footage, but not too much because of course, I want to enjoy the night. So I've just come to Starbucks in Canary Wharf and I'm having my first pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how content this makes me. This is officially the start of autumn. <laughs> Your first pumpkin spice latte, it just, it just hits different and it changes the seasons, I'm convinced of it. 
I am back in my flat. I'm actually drinking this massive can of Monster. I've kind of got into drinking Monster since I went to Portugal. <laughs> so random, but uh, I just, I quite like an energy drink and actually I really need one right now because I'm starting to flag. And this afternoon I wanted to be productive because I've not had the most productive day. You'll have seen I went and got my pumpkin spice latte and that was actually after a short gym session. So I did go to the gym, but that's literally all I've done all day. <laughs> and I don't know where the day has gone. Like this has been most days that I'm off. But anyway, I'm trying to continue with the decluttering and clear out of my room. But honestly, I just feel a bit overwhelmed. Like not because I've got loads on because I don't, because I'm off work, but just I'm not getting through things like I wanted to. I'm not getting enough done. And I kind of had loads of things I thought I would get done while I was off, do you know what I mean? Thanks, Fumba. And also, it's just been a bit of a weird week, so I guess Fumba's like so keen to play with his toy. He's so funny, how we like. <laughs> Honestly, this gives me endless joy. Like he doesn't, he very rarely will like launch for his toy. He'll just like, he just opens his mouth and just like, <laughs> There we go. What else was I saying? It's been a bit of a weird couple of days and particularly yesterday was... Go get it. I swear, there is a flat in my complex and they literally just have parties all the time. Ugh. Hold on. I've just closed the window. The music is still going. It sounds like it's already quite a rowdy party. But anyway, hopefully that doesn't continue on into the night because that'd be really annoying uh but that's that also happened earlier this week there was like a party in the complex yeah so a few things have kind of just got to me this week a bit i've been feeling just more anxious in general kind of how i remember feeling you know when things were getting on top of me at the start of all of lockdown and stuff i think just at the moment because you know holidays are being cancelled and there's still no end in sight for like when things are gonna go back to normal. I kinda, in the back of my mind, but without really vocalizing it, thought things would be okay by September. Like, you know, you kinda keep setting your date for like when you think, oh, you know, by September it'll be fine. By like 2021 it'll be fine. And I just, it kinda just feels just a bit weird right now. Uh, but also yesterday and the dog park that I take Pumba to, you'll have seen footage from it before. I always take little clips when he's there. And um, really sadly, a little dog that um, Pumba plays with loads was attacked by, <sighs> like I hate to say because I know like it's not, it's not like a certain dog breed is evil or whatever, but this particular dog breed is banned in the UK and um, it's Pitbull. And I think this dog was a Pitbull cross. Um. <laughs> But obviously, like, in these situations, you have to look to the owner. Like, you know, dogs will only be as well behaved as they are trained to be. And particularly if you've got, you know, a breed that has a lot of energy and, you know, um, needs more training. That's what they need, right? But anyway, this little dog was killed, um, by attacked and killed by this dog. And actually, I think it was two dogs. And um, one of the other owners in the park as well that tried to save the dog was also injured by the aggressive dog that went for the little one. And it was ugh, literally like the cutest little dog, like so friendly. I know that this is <laughs> bad to say, but like some dogs, you can kind of understand how they might annoy another dog, right? They might be yappy or grumpy or like, you know, they might irritate some of the older dogs or the bigger dogs etc but this little dog she's honestly the sweetest little thing and very similar to Pumba and that's I think what's really like got me feeling so funny about this situation because Pumba will always go up to the big dogs in the park and he always like wants to say hello and like have a little sniff and you know as soon as they come into the park Pumba's nearly one of the first dogs to go over and be like hey and um obviously Pumba's so friendly and so gentle and He's not a yappy dog. Like when dogs bark at him or get aggressive, like he's really, you know, he'll always like be the submissive dog. Like he'll put, you know, he'll step back and he'll give the dog space and everything. And so, and this other little girl was just so like Pumba in terms of its temperament. And so it just really like, 
it really got to me yesterday. Not only for like being sad for this owner and her lovely dog, uh, but also then just thinking about Pumba, like and how easily something like that could happen. And it's made me feel really, you know, funny about going, like bringing him to the dog park anymore because <sighs> as much as like, it's nice to go and we know that, I know a lot of the owners there, I know a lot of the dogs there, all it takes is for somebody to just walk in the gate and you know, Pumba's the kind of dog that will just run over to another dog to say hi. And so I might not get the opportunity to, you know, assess a dog that's coming in to be like, actually, hey, you know, maybe hang back for a minute and see how the dog behaves. Like I might not get that opportunity because Pumba runs up and says hello and stuff. And his recall is not the best. Um, so I don't know, it's kind of put me off like bringing him to the park and stuff now. And yeah, last, I could barely sleep last night. I know it sounds so silly, but I was just, just thinking about like if anything happened to him, he's literally like my little child. But like I say, I think just like this week just felt like I've not really achieved much. And uh, I think also just knowing I've only got one more week off after this week. So I think, um, you know, it's that sort of thing, isn't it? It's like the Sunday evening feeling when, you know, Monday is looming, that sort of feeling. But I still do have another week off. And so I know I'm just, I always do this, like my brain just gets ahead of itself, like thinking about the next thing. And so I just need to relax. But anyway, I'm just drinking some Monster. I mean, maybe this isn't a good idea because this could make me feel more anxious. But um, the idea is just to give me a bit of a pep of energy and then I'm going to attack my room for a bit, my bedroom. And then I'm going to just chill for the rest of the evening with Pumba. So that's the plan. I'm going to crack on with that. Honestly, I would much rather just wait on the sofa and watch Netflix. But... I know I feel better for actually getting something done today. <laughs> so I've just had a delivery that I thought you guys might be interested in. I've got one from the Disney store and then one from Next. So I've ordered some Bath and Body Works stuff from Next and I thought I would show you what I got. So let's show you the Disney stuff first. I actually just got some clothes. So first up, I've got this Star Wars droids hoodie. I thought this was really cool. Next, I've got this Mickey Mouse baseball style spirit jersey. I actually went for this in a larger size. A lot of my spirit jerseys I get in a medium, but I got this one in a large. And actually, I think some of my spirit jerseys are even a small because they are quite oversized. So this large does look quite big, <laughs> but I kind of wanted something that would be baggier. So I don't know, I think I might stick with it anyway. And then it just has on the back Mickey in big letters and then... 28. And finally, I got this Disneyland long sleeve top. I think this color is so nice. The Disney store did email with a discount. I think it was 20 or 25% off. So that's kind of what encouraged me to <laughs> go on and buy a few bits. But let me show you what I got in Bath and Body Works. So here are the Bath and Body Works bits that I got. Now, some of these are actually for Rachel. If I didn't say already, Rachel's actually coming over here to London next week. So she'll be in next week's weekly vlog. And we're actually going to see the Chelsea women's football and we're going to see Mary Poppins with my friend Hannah as well so it should be quite a fun week but anyway let's go through what I've got so I got this stress relief and it's eucalyptus and spearmint it's body wash and foam bath now I use this as a bath foam mostly I actually have got this before and it's so so good I love their stress relief range Smells amazing and it actually does make me feel calm. Then I got this Hibiscus Waterfalls candle. I actually got two candles, but the other one arrived smashed, unfortunately. I think I got vanilla sugar and yeah, it arrived smashed. So I am sending that one back. But this Hibiscus Waterfalls smells so good. I've never had this scent before, but so glad I got it because it really does smell amazing. Then I got the stress relief in the body lotion. These containers are super heavy duty. They feel like glass, um, which I was surprised at. I kind of thought they would be plastic, but they're actually like really heavy duty bottles and they've got that little pump on the top, which I like. I love that for body lotion instead of having a tub that you're like, you know, putting your hands into. <laughs> got the same body lotion in energy, which is orange and ginger. And finally in sleep which is lavender and vanilla. And then we both got the Gingham Gentle Foam and Hand Soap. Absolutely love Bath Body Works. 
hand soaps. They're so good. They always smell great and they just, uh, I love the formula, like of how they come out in the foam. It's just really nice. Then I wanted to try some of the Ultra Shea body cream. So I got Fiji, which is, it says Sunshine Guavatini. <laughs> and uh, also Wakiki, which is beach coconut. So they both sounded great. Now, I think all of these are quite standard as in they're not seasonal fragrances, but correct me if I'm wrong, if you're more of a Bath and Body Works expert than I am. I don't know, maybe some of these ones like the Hibiscus Waterfalls are summer ranges. They do have like a little flower and stuff there, but I didn't see any of their autumnal scents. So I will be checking back to see if they get any autumnal scents in because I, just love autumn, as I probably said already on this vlog. Um, but if you are looking for some autonomous scents, my dad has launched them on his small shop. So I will leave a link down below. You can get pumpkin spice, guys, my favorite scent. <laughs> so do check it out. My sister's actually bringing me some over when she comes over, but he ships worldwide. So definitely check that out. You will be helping a small business and um, I'd obviously really appreciate it. My dad would, of course, as well. Uh, it's not affiliated with me at all. It's my dad's business. Um, he works very hard at it but yeah his stuff is honestly amazing we've had nothing but good feedback so thank you to everybody that has ordered from him uh, I really appreciate it I'll show you what the wax melts look like now so like I said I don't have any of the autumnal scents just yet but this is what the wax melts look like when you get them he also does candles he does tin candles and glass candles and um, if you want to get a package as well you can get the wax melts with a burner too which is handy um, but the autumnal scents look amazing I'm so excited to try them Rachel tells me they smell amazing too so yeah I'll make sure that is all linked down below so it's Saturday I'm starting the vlog from a bit of a <laughs> different part of the house I thought I would just take a vlog in the mirror because Pumba decided he wanted to come up for a little cuddle so he's so happy when he's up like this. I think because he used to always do it when he was a puppy so he loves being picked up and just held under the butt like this as we just take a little stroll around the flat. So we'll normally just, careful now, we don't want this vlog getting demonetized. But yeah, normally I'll just pick him up like this. We'll go have a look out the window and just a little wander around the flat and he just loves it. I think because he gets like, you know, a high vantage point to have a look and see what's going on. It's Saturday now guys and um, I'm actually going to leave the vlog here because my boyfriend's coming early to collect me and take me to his. We're going to spend the rest of the weekend there. It's going to be super chilled. It's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK so it means he's off Monday as well. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. <laughs> He's getting wriggly now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you all next week. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are getting on. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.